All right, hello and welcome to the very first episode of Plugin Reviews on my YouTube channel, WebMonkey. Uh, my name is Alex and today I'm going to talk about my favorite plugin for creating tables in WordPress. All right, so I've got my website here called The Movie Characters and what I want to do right now is to create a table that would have a list of uh, superheroes, supervillains, action heroes and... Uh, horror villains as well. So what I'm going to do is to simply come down to the back end and come down to my plugins, click on add new and the name of the plugin is table press. Love to press tables. Okay. So, uh, the plugin is by, Hmm. Okay. So <laughs> I actually cannot see the plugin I'm looking for. Uh, all right, so here's what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to make table press a single word. And okay, so finally, here it is, and it's by Tobias Bath J. Okay, well, as you can see, it has over 300,000 active installs and over 2,226 reviews. This is an awesome, wonderful plugin. So I'm going to click on install now and then activate. All right, so here's the thing. Once you activate this plugin, you're gonna see this tab here that says Table Press. So what I'm gonna do right now is to click on All Tables, and well, due to the fact that we haven't created any table, we have an empty list right here. So what I, what I can do is to either click on Add New up here or click Add New Table over here. So let's just click on that, and the first thing here is to add a name. So what I'm gonna uh, the name I'm gonna give is the uh, the movie characters. Uh, the movie characters and uh, you can also add an optional description as well. So let's just say this table lists some of our favorite characters. Okay. All right. So, and then last but not least, we'll have to list the number of rows and the number of columns that we want. So uh, let's just go with four rows and four columns. For now, let's click on add table. All right, so now we now have to add our content. All right, so we have uh, column A, column B, column C, and column D. All right, so for column A, let's start off with the superheroes. Superheroes, and then if I press the tab key, it takes me to the next column where I can now type in uh, supervillains. Uh, the third column will be our uh, action heroes. And the last one will be uh, horror villains. All right, so let's add our very first superhero, and obviously that's going to be Batman. And our super villain here would be the Joker. Uh, for an action hero, let's go with uh, mm, uh, let's see, uh, James Bond. Let's go with James Bond. A horror villain will be Freddy Krueger. If you haven't seen uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, I highly recommend you see. Nightmare on Elm Street, the series. It's uh, it's one of my favorite uh, uh, horror movies. All right, so let's uh, keep going. <laughs> the next superhero now will be Superman. We are actually having the new uh, Batman v Superman movie coming out next month. I cannot wait for that movie to come out. And of course, the villain here will be Lex Luthor. Action hero, let's go with uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, horror villain... Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with Jason X. Jason X. And uh, let's add another superhero. And this time, let's go with the ultimate Boy Scout, Captain America. Uh, Red Skull will be the villain here. <sighs> Red Skull. Uh, action hero. Uh, let's let's go with uh, Jason Bourne. Let's go with Jason Bourne. And. Uh, uh, horror villain, let's go with Mike Myers. All right, so this all looks uh, pretty nice and uh, neat. From here, we can actually uh, preview our table and we'll see how it looks like. So if I click the preview button up here, we actually have this table and we can see it looks all nice. We have our superheroes, supervillains, action heroes, and horror villains all listed. Awesome. All right, so at this point, what I can do right now to display this table on the page is to simply uh, save the changes first of all and then I can copy the short code from here I can click on copy 
go to the page where I'd like to display the, the uh, table. Here it's the movie characters, click on edit. And from here I can either choose to display the shortcut by pasting it right here, or I could also simply click on this button right here to insert the table and from here you can simply insert the shortcut for the table. So let me just insert that, click on preview changes. And we have our table looking all nice and neat as you can see. Awesome. All right, so let's go back and start making some changes to our table. Let me first of all update this page. Come back down to table press. Now click on all tables. And now we can click on edit to edit our movie characters table. All right, so awesome. So what I would like to do right now is to add another role. I want to add another row just beneath uh, the last row that we have here. So what I can do is to simply come over here and then click on add. You can see one has already been selected so I can just click on add and boom we have an entire new row being created. Okay so let's add one more superhero and in this case I'm gonna go with Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. All right and the super villain uh, the Green Goblin. I, I, I never can actually tell whether or not the Green Goblin or Venom is uh, his, his number one villain. Let's go with Venom instead. Venom. Action hero, uh, let's go with uh, John McClane. McClane. If you don't know who John McClane is, then you don't love action films. Our villains, uh, oof, I'm, ha I'm having a bit of a brain freeze right now. Uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason X, Mike Myers. Ooh, uh, okay, uh, uh, let's just go with uh, the safest option, Barack Obama. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I honestly have a brain fart right now and I cannot think of any horror villain, so I'm just going to go with Barack Obama. If you love Barack Obama, well, I do apologize, but uh, he is a horror villain, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just can't think of any horror villains right now, so uh, let's just stick with Barack Obama and... Uh, all right, so let's just save changes, uh, come back down here, refresh, make sure that uh, it's actually displaying. Okay, so we have Spider-Man, Venom, John McClane, and Barack Obama. Awesome. All right, so what other changes can we actually make right here? Now, we can insert links within our content boxes. We can insert an image, and we can also use an advanced editor. So say, for example, if I clicked on the advanced editor, it says, please click into the cell that you want to edit using the advanced editor. All right, I'll click OK. Now let's edit the joke. I can click inside and now we now have access to be able to uh, make the text a bold or, or italics. And for some reason, the boxes here actually grayed out. We can see uh, what's in these two boxes. But uh, the first one here is to make it bold. Let's do that. So uh, let me click OK and then let's take a preview and over here, you can see the Joker is now bold. Let's try something else. Let's try the next one. If I clicked on Advanced Editor and now clicked on Barack Obama, I can highlight it and then click the second box, which should make it italic style. Let's click OK and let's preview once again. And so now we have Joker bold and we have Barack Obama in italics. Awesome. All right. So we can also add images as well. Let's add an image for... Uh, Captain America, for example, if I clicked on the Captain America cell, I can now click on insert image and this will take me to my uh, media library. All right, and I have my Captain America image right here and uh, we can also choose the size. Let's go with the thumbnail. The alignment will be to the left and uh, let's just insert that into the table and let's see how this looks like. Preview. And we have Captain America right here, okay? It looks uh, a little bit out of shape, of course, you know, but uh, with some adjustments, you can always make the image look a lot better. So let me just close this. Uh, let's add one more image for Jason X. Why not? Let's insert image, click on Jason X. And uh, where is Jason X? Uh, oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jason X, insert into table. And now let's see how this uh, looks like preview. And we have Jason X. You know what? Let's actually do an experiment. Let's remove the names of the uh, characters instead, right? Now I can actually expand 
uh, the size of each individual cell just for this uh, particular view only it won't this it won't display this way in the actual table in the actual table it will still have the same uh, size by the way so uh, let me just come over here and uh, remove Captain America remove the text there let's do the same for uh, Mr. Jason X uh, let me just come over here remove this as well delete and now let's uh, preview let's see how this looks like preview and as you can see, we do have Captain America taking over the entire cell and the image of Jason X taking over the entire cell as well. This looks beautiful. Okay, so let me just close this and uh, what else can we actually do? We can uh, add rows like I showed you earlier. We can also add our columns as well by simply clicking on the button right here. And we can also choose to duplicate rows or columns. So say, for example, I wanted to duplicate uh, the very last row here, all I would, I would have to do is to tick the box and then simply click on the duplicate button right here and then we have the exact same row. I can also choose to delete rows as well. And I can also choose to duplicate columns and uh, delete columns as well in the same manner like I, like I did with the rows. Alright, so you can also combine cells just like you have in your Excel. And then on the here in table options, uh, this is checked by default and what this actually does is that it makes uh, the top text within uh, the top row bold by default. So uh, that's the reason why if I click on preview, uh, you can see uh, superheroes, supervillains, action heroes and horror villains are all bold. If I unchecked this box right here and then preview it again, you would see that they are all now have the same uh, normal text, Not, nothing is bold any longer. So I'm just close that. Let's set that as a table header. And then of course you can also do the same for your footer as well. So if you want all the text in the footer of your tables to be bold, simply check this box here as well. All right, alternating row colors, the background colors of consecutive, uh, consecutive rows shall alternate. You can uh, choose to play around with this option if you want to. Uh, you can choose to print the name of the table either above or below the table and you can also choose to print the description of the table as well if you want to. Now if you're into CSS and all that good stuff you can also add your CSS classes right here as well and over here features of the data tables JavaScript library is a little bit beyond uh, the scope of this particular video. If you're into JavaScript then this might be for you. Awesome! So let me just uh, save changes come back down here refresh the table and look at that we have jason x we have our characters and of course we have captain america right here but not only this we can actually also display our tables within widget area so all i have to do is to simply copy the short code right here copy this uh come down to my widgets and from here i can simply drag my text widget all the way into my sidebar and then paste the short code and then simply save. All right, so let's check the page. Let's refresh and we don't have a sidebar, but that's because this page is actually using the full width page template. So I'm just going to change this to the default template, which will display the sidebar. I am using the WordPress 2012 theme, by the way, in case you are wondering. So let me view the page now and uh, right so we now have our sidebar with our table and the table looks like shit. <laughs> Unfortunately this table does not look good at all and that's because um, the sidebar is simply too narrow to accommodate the full width of the table. So if you're going to display your table in a sidebar either make sure that the table is narrow enough or uh, the sidebar is wide enough to accommodate the full width of the table. All right, so let's go back to our table. I want to show you something else. Let's click edit. All right, so from here, you can actually also drag and drop your columns into their desired position. So say, for example, I wanted to drag the horror villains column all the way to the first column right here. All I would have to do is to click and then drag all the way to the front right here and then release my mouse boom and that's it so we now have the horror villains and the very first column and we have the action heroes and the last column 
Awesome. All right. So let me just save my changes here. And uh, we have some additional options that you can take a look at. You can import your table. You can import a table from an external source, maybe from a file on your desktop or from a server or from a website as well. And of course, you can also choose the import format as well. We've got CSV, HTML, JSON, plenty of options to go around, basically. So uh, exporting tables as well. You can also export any tables that you create on your website to uh, an Excel sheet or whatever, <laughs> what have you. All right, so plugin options as well. If you're into CSS, you can add your custom CSS commands in this box right here. And you can also uninstall the TablePress plugin right here. But be warned, permanently, uh, rather, uninstalling TablePress will permanently delete all TablePress tables and options from your database. So be careful. And last but not least, we have the About page where the author talks about the purpose of this plugin and uh, <laughs> the usage and, of course, uh, the documentation as well. So. If you'd like some further information about this plugin, you can uh, visit the documentation here as well. Oh, thank you, Dropbox. <laughs> All right, so uh, this has been a presentation on, on how to create awesome looking tables using uh, the TablePress plugin. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will be making videos like this on a regular basis. Also check uh, for a link in the description box, I actually have a free course where I teach students how to use different types of plugins for their WordPress. It's a totally free course. You can sign up today for free. Check the link in the description box. My name is Alex once again. I'd like to thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next class. Bye for now.